Okay, hello, it's time for more chicory. Good evening! Okay, let's roll. You will immediately dip on whatever you're doing if you see a stray, like as a DPS. Oh, that's that's risky, though. Because then you're going to get the enmity. And I don't think Pugilist is that. <gasps> I know I've made so many bug fables jokes, but... What is this? Before I continue on, how's the volume, everybody? <laughs> Th this one, this one is Kabu right here. I guess this one's Leaf. Um, probably the one jumping around is V. The one jumping around and like not contributing. Better you than the healer. That's true. That's true. I've learned as a healer you have to triage. So top priority is yourself, and then the tank, and then everybody else is on their own. Dear Wielder, the bugs of feast humbly request your service. Come find us deep in the grub caverns, on the outskirts of dinners, the North City. Sincerely, Queen Dracera. Cool. Well, I wasn't sure how the plot was going to progress after Chicory revealed that she's the source of um, the blight, the corruption everywhere. But you know what? I'm okay with this. Hello, Oats. What did you want again? The full moon. I don't think I have anything that fits that. Oh, God. I forgot about the clown. You're not sure how you feel about the rogue being easier to stay alive with? I mean, their thieves are supposed to be dodgy, right? Yeah, I don't think I have anything that's appropriately full moon. Not yet. Okay, to the north. To the north. To the north. I'm actually going to be smart and look at my map here. So, Grub Cavern. Which way Grub Cavern? Well, the music's a little ominous now, huh? Hello, Pickle. Do you have anything new to say? Hey, Pretzel. What's up? You look sad. I'm fine. You don't seem fine. Is everything okay? Eh. Standing very still and saying nothing, I see. A common tactic for sad people. You can't hide it from me. I know everything about being sad and lonely. Let me know if you want any tips. Okay, give me the tips. It's okay to be sad. Don't be ashamed. Uh, you don't have to talk with me, but... Have you called your family or anything like that? It's good to talk to someone. If you can. I guess I could talk to my mom. I haven't actually called my mom. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Thanks, Pickle. You can safely tank 20% of your max health, and depending on the enemy, you can run in through knives out of range. That's always a good skill to have. I don't really need to ask for help, but I don't want to see if my mom has anything interesting to say about Pretzel being sad. Mom? Hello? Hey, Mom. Oh, Pretzel! Sweetie, you don't sound so good. Is everything okay? Oh, I'm not sure. It's about Chicory. She and I kind of had kind of a fight. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. That must be so tough for you. Yeah, I guess it is. It's just... I thought we were friends. But she maybe saw things differently. Uh, I was worried she was trouble. But, Pretzel, whatever she said, you shouldn't listen. She doesn't really know you. Take it from me. I know you better than anyone. And I know you're the sweetest, most amazing kid in the world. I'm so proud of you. And I'm so glad you're the wielder. Oh, Mom. Um, thanks. Well, that's my two cents. Did you want my advice for what to do next? Eh, sure. Well, in your situation, 
You should find the Grub Caverns and see what's going on down there. It's not every day you get a letter from the Insect Queen. I think it's near Dinners, the city to the north. Don't forget you can jump now with Y. At least, that's what I think. It's always good to hear from you, Pretzel. Ah! 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 She's gonna be murdered. You can always call us back here, okay? Bye, sweetie. I love you very much. Oh, hang on. Dad's giving me a look. I think he wants to say something. You know how he is. When he knows the right answer, he can't help but share it. Should I put him on the phone? Sure. All right, one second. Well, pretzel. So here's the deal. The easiest way to find grub caverns is to get to dinners. Head to the nibble tunnel on the north side of luncheon. You can follow a sign there to get to the path to dinners. You'll need to use Y to jump too. Make sense now? Yeah, you got this. Love you. Thanks, Dad. So I guess Dad is like the more detailed hints if you need them. Mom, come get me. There's corruption here. Mom, pick me up. I want to go home. Dad, grabby hand for phone. You love how Pretzel casually leaves out the fact of, of the part about Chicory being the source of all evil in this world. Hang on, I got some... Decor. Oh, wow, I can just, like, go ham here, huh? Uh... Campfire. Yeah, this this is safe. Good. <laughs> can I color the campfire in? Okay, maybe not in this menu. Lantern. Cauldron. Oh, man. We're gonna make some kind of witch's woo. Spooky candles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. More fire. More fire. This is like the house I had in, um... Uh... Boy, this is hard to do with the... No. Whatever. It's like the house I had in, um... Animal Crossing uh, Wild World on the DS. Or I made a room filled with backyard furniture and put as many fire hazard hazards in there as I could. Oh, I can't get through that way. Boo. Can I get through here? Nah. Stop making me go around. So how is everybody this evening? Um, I did in fact get my second dose of the vaccine. Oh, hang on. Luncheon's definitely changing. I noticed these spooky trees all around. I'm a tough guy, though, so it doesn't bother me. But maybe for someone less tough, it'd be scary. No, oh, you know what? I'm... I ain't being real right now. Look, I don't know how to say this, but I think I should be telling more people on account of it being on my mind a lot. I like dudes, okay? I mean, not just dudes. I like all kinds of folks. I thought you were going to say that you were scared of the corruption. This is a different direction I was expecting. So I'm by, okay? This is a new thing for me. Okay, cool. What you thought in the corruption, though? Anyway, so... I've only recently been figuring that out about myself. It's pretty scary. Not to be the person you thought you were. I keep falling back on saying I'm a tough guy. But actually, I'm a lot of things. Including by, I guess. But I'm also still tough! Sorry, I screwed that up, Macaroon. This is this big moment for you and I misread your words. Feels good to just be honest about it. Sorry if that was weird. It's not weird. I mean, maybe, maybe weird that you just told, you know, someone... Well, I can't say you just met Pretzel, but... Fighting your desire to spend all your time in the golden saucer, I'll just just do it. Don't fight it. My brother, um, when he played, uh, he spent all of his time in the golden saucer. Can I not get around this way? I thought I could. Oh, bother. I guess I just have to go up past the, the gardening badger. Man, now it's a really splatoon. <laughs> well, good for you, Macaroon. But I think you should also be mindful of the corruption. Nah. Nah. Um, as I was saying, I did, in fact, get my second dose of the vaccine. 
and I'm kind of glad I did not wind up getting um, uh, getting it um, on the first because that would be a Thursday, and then I would I don't think I'd be able to stream the day after because boy I just I had to stay in bed for most of uh, yesterday. It was very boring. I didn't want to. I tried to get up and do stuff, but I, I tried to make the effort and my body was just, no, no, this is, this is too hard. Oh yeah, I, I don't know if it's showing up, because I tried testing it earlier and it's not showing up yet, but I did add an emote. I guess I can't change my emote prefix. That's a thing that only Twitch partners have the luxury of doing. So, alas, the prefix is is the clunky Mismo 57. But is it there? I don't know if it's actually showing up or not, but it's something. Uh, secrets? Secrets? Did I take Advil? Oh, you bet I did. It helped a lot, um, but I was still, like, fatigued and my whole body hurt. Like I had just fought somebody or run a marathon or something. Is this glowing spot anything? Oh, hang on. I need to paint to get through here. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, I got a brush style. Uh, not right now, right now. You just got back from doing some tasks and you're conflicted. Should you watch the stream or wait till you've 100% of the game? Well, I guess there's... If you're concerned about encountering something that you missed, um, then I, I don't blame you for wanting to do everything yourself. I won't be offended, but I'm happy you've been enjoying it, Spooter. That's basically what COVID felt like for two weeks. Ugh. What was surprising to me is that, like, right after I got the injection, my whole arm hurt. Oh, I don't like this color for pretzel as much as the one I had before. But yeah, that was kind of surprising that just my whole arm was aching. And like, when I got the first one, I didn't really feel it. But the second one, woof. You can always just watch the archives. That's true. That's true. Whoa, it's bustling in here. Hi, Clementine. Pretzel! What brings you to the big city? Busy with important wielder stuff? Hang on, I, I want to be a different color. There we go. I guess so? Hmm. You should come get a slice with me. I know the perfect place. In terms of screens, it's just one up from here. I'll meet you inside there. What do you, what do you mean screens, Clementine? That's weird. Ah, uh, I wanted to get hit by a bike. Holding up traffic. Holding up traffic. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Come to my rooftop party! Just head north from here. What, what is this? This strange creature... That's how every needle you get feels like to your arm tensing up because uh, of your fear of them. Oh, I'm sorry, Zarthwamp. That sounds awful. Trash for this small plant. Oh, I see. I can use croquette. Are you a pangolin? Hello, this is the plant exchange. We take litter and trash and give you plants in exchange. It's a new program we initiated to try to clean up picnic. So if you spot any litter lying around, pick it up. You shall see me in 20 years, Morian stream, or you guess next Katamari stream. <laughs> see you on Tuesday then. And if you have trash, don't leave it on the ground. Okay. The bigger the plant, the more litter we take in exchange. The growing plants in the far right might seem a bit small, but if you plant them and leave them for a while, they'll get huge. Litter can show up in all kinds of places. Unfortunately, it tends to be more gray or darker color than other things, so keep an eye out for things like that. Take any plant you like. I do kind of want the growing plant. I will take one of these, please. PvP is a mess. I have not tried PvP at all. I've thought about it and then I go, eh. I've heard the queue times for PvP are really long because nobody does it. I don't know if that's true, though. His canvas has got wiped, too. I could fill this in at the Pollock Art Academy. What I need is, like, a, a bus pass or something so I can get to the Pollock Art Academy. 
Oh man, this this shop is really anime. Wow. Speaking of anime, uh, I was too sick to do it yesterday, but I played more anime Dark Souls, by which I mean Code Vein. Yes, or this this afternoon and. Yeah, going back to the second boss after rethinking my strategy and changing my loadout. So much easier. Wow. Coffee. Why are you reading that? Huh? I'm waiting for transit. Sure, but why are you reading that? Oh, a hipster, I see. It's not that bad. It's interesting political theory. Have you read it? I have. It's garbage. What's wrong with new ideas? Nothing at all. You can't just dismiss it. It addresses actual issues. Like, there's plenty that works right now, don't get me wrong. Shared worker profit is functional, government-controlled property, all that. But it sucks if you want to start your own business. Fairness is great, but all that red tape also prevents innovation. Sure, I agree. So, shouldn't we do something to improve it? I think we should abolish money altogether. Don't tell me you're one of those. How do you imagine society functioning without money? You gotta- you gonna barter for every slice you order? No. You create a shared storehouse of all goods and products. Everyone contributes to that storehouse to the extent of their ability, and takes to the extent of their need. Wow, sounds real simple. It is. What if someone decides to steal it all for themselves? Then they pit themselves against all of society. They wouldn't win. What if someone burns down the storehouse? You wouldn't actually keep it all in just one place. We can deflect and theorize all day. I'm just saying it would work. There's a lot of things to figure out. But all systems of government have things to figure out. A communist crow. I see how it is. <laughs> oh, you're, you and your friend tried it, and it was nothing but button mashing. Oh, did you? Uh, did the was the bleh, were the queue times reasonable at least? I'm not convinced. Because you're believing garbage. No, because it just doesn't make sense. Where's the motivation? Why would anyone do anything? The existence of money doesn't fix existentialism either. But in a moneyless society, you're free to explore that on your own terms. Without the demand for profit keeping you on a treadmill. Society would never just transform like that. Money solves too many problems too well. I'm telling you, this theory is sound. The issue is that workers have way too much power right now. Really? Do we? Like, seriously, why should all workers share profit equally? People who actually start businesses should profit from their good ideas. Then you could have an economy driven by people's innovation. Capitalism! That's seriously the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. A successful business would consolidate its wealth to just a few people. So you'd end up with a tiny ruling class exploiting everyone's labor. And only lucky rich people would actually be free to have ideas. The rest of us would be stuck working for them. Well, it's just a theory. A game theory. <laughs> you're still kind of a hipster crow on a unicycle, but I get what you're saying. Just you and him. The TPS beat the tank. Good. Yeah, we do the work too, you horse. Mulchy. When did we enter the world of Grim Fantango? <laughs> I played a little bit of that game forever ago. I should play more of it. It's hard for me to get into pointy, clicky adventure games, though. Hello, Mochi. Wanna get a haircut? Sure. How long do you want? Uh, long. Do you want a cut that's more cool or cute? Um, cool. Should it be more pretty or tough? In between. Oh, this is like Animal Crossing. <laughs> Ta da! What do you think? Um. How about medium? How about cute? Uh, how about pretty? 
out. <laughs> I want to try something else. <laughs> Pretzel actually a poodle. Oh my gosh. Bedhead. Nothing is speaking to me. Curly. Ninja seems pretty fun. I've played a bit of... <laughs> a bowl cut. I've played a bit of Ninja. Ninja's pretty fun, I think so. Ponytail. Where are you getting all this extra fur from, Pretzel? Why oh, is it cute? The little puffs. Uh, well, that's all I got. Um... I kind of like the classic, honestly. But thank you. I'm sorry, Mochi. I'm sorry if I made you feel bad. You do good work! You're yellow now. Unlocking Monk because you're enjoying the Pugilist storyline. Oh yeah, the Pugilist storyline was uh, pleasantly goofy. I've heard um, some of the quest lines can be sort of hit or miss. <laughs> Oh, this, this is what Clementine was talking about. Um, like, the White Mage storyline is really bleh. But the Pugilist one was front. Fun. Fun. Hi, Clementine. Hey! Let's go to town on some slice! Yeah! I wonder how many people named their, uh, their dog <laughs> Pizza. I feel like Pizza would be a common answer. I also like the fact that, I mean, clearly this is pizza we're consuming, but they've changed- Well, they've given it the name Slices, much like donuts or holies, to avoid, I guess, uh, any potential crossover with whatever the dog is named. Ah, <sighs> that hit the spot. I'm surprised I haven't heard of this place before. How's wielding going, anyway? It's been kind of a lot, to be honest. Chicory is doing worse than ever, and the Bug Queen needs my help or something. And the Elevens' gallery is missing paintings, not to mention there's lost kids everywhere. <laughs> You're so focused on everyone else's problems. Oh, am I? Yeah, you always say yes to everything. But, you know, it's okay to say no sometimes, too. Is it? Things are different now that I'm wielding. I can't just let everyone down. Can't you? C Clementine! I don't think you really get it. Even wielders gotta take breaks, you know. You need to make time for yourself, too. But how am I supposed to do that? Hey, um, excuse me. You're the wielder, right? Dude, we were kind of having a moment. Oh. Well, so, like I was saying, my slice is pretty dang good, right? But I really don't know a thing about marketing. Sir, is this appropriate? I need help getting the word out. So I just thought, while you're here, could you design a logo for me? Are people just like that with you? Basically. I wonder you're such a little stress ball. Well, why don't you let me help you? I could scribble some stuff. And then you just add as much or little as you feel like. That'd be fun, right? I don't know, I still feel kind of like our labor is being exploited. It's like, <laughs> okay, now your turn. What the heck is this, Clementine? Can I erase it? No. Um, yeah, this is, this is kind of exploitive, I think. Um... And now these, these lines are going to stick out like a sore thumb because they're black and I don't have access to black. Yeah, this is just exploiting our labor. <laughs> it does kind of look like a face now that you mention it. I was going to try and make it more pizza shaped. Sorry, slice shaped, but... Maybe I should make it look terrible out of spite. This is like a curl... And this is the wiggly mouth, and these are just big eyes. <laughs> this Clementine, this is why you're not the wielder. You know what this looks like to me. Um, uh, let's do let's do background. Scoosh, perfect. 
beating up an old man just to make him stronger. Yeah, the, the monk storyline was fun. And then White Mage is just... Um, girl that is overusing her powers and ignores everyone saying, Yo, stop overusing your powers, you're gonna die. No, you can't tell me what to do! Oh no, I'm dying, how mysterious. Oh, I was gonna do hands, but these don't really look like hands, do they? You really did just love seeing him level up from 1 to 4 to 8 by getting beat up. It was very good. Well, I was gonna do hands, like jazz hands, but uh, that doesn't look very good, does it? No, oh, that's gonna that's gonna bleed through. You know, what this kind of makes me think of is um, did anybody use kid picks back in the day? The uh, the art program that was on old Macintosh computers. Hang on, I'm gonna just fill this in. I think you're sticking to ninja since it suits your avatar's appearance. It's kind of too bad that um. Gear sets are often locked to specific classes, so you can't just glamour whatever you want. Like, I have a cool look for, uh, tank, or I, warrior is my other main, although I've been sticking with white mage mostly instead, because I feel like it's better to focus, and also I find tanking dungeons really intimidating. Because I worry, because I'm not gonna, I don't know where to go when I'm doing a dungeon for the first time, and I worry that people are gonna get impatient. This is like a, a deeply cursed mallow. I don't, I don't even know what's going on here, honestly. But oh, that's that's not the right shade. But I'm making Clementine's vision work. Tanking is so much pressure. And yeah, if you want to throw giant shurikens, then... Sadly, there's no ninja tank. You know, this reminds me of... <laughs> it's, um, my place of employment, and they've done this a couple years now, that for Pride Month, they do this initiative where they solicit designs from employees and like submit your design for pride month and we'll put the winning design on a t-shirt and the compensation you get is like company merchandise and um everybody in your store gets a free shirt with the design you got and i can't help but think don't exploit people's labor, especially for something like an issue that's so near and dear to people's hearts. Um, again, I'm just making a hand by my face so I can get the finger position right. Um, and it really bothers me, and I've mentioned it to co-workers, and they're like, they don't see what the problem is. And they're like, no, you're, you're exploiting, you're exploiting labor, and you're making people submit all these designs, and you're not paying them for it. This is my incredibly cursed mallow. Well, it's not really mallow, it's... Mellow. Marrow? Marrow. Bone marrow. This is bone marrow. This is my OC. Do not steal. I was going to write yum, but I don't like that. I think I'm just going to write slice. Because, I mean, it's the name of the, the, the product being sold, obviously, but it could also sound like a command. Bless. Ah! I forgot it did that if I double tapped. Perfect. That's your logo now, buddy. But the exposure! Oh! Yes, this is it! The power of your teamwork! It's created the perfect logo! That was fun. But I gotta get going now. Good luck with everything, Pretzel. And remember, it's okay to say no. Love ya! 
He did come in third in a triple triad tournament. Dang, that's pretty impressive. Because I feel like they don't adequately explain how triple triad works. Granted, it's still not as bad as Tetra Master in Final Fantasy IX. I don't understand Tetra Master. I've tried to understand it before, and I don't. Hello, big goalie. I'm sure more customers will come. Any minute now. Why don't you check back later? I want royalties for that logo. Whoa. Oh, it's you again. I didn't know I could fall in love with the company logo. But here we are. You did it again. I never cared that much for Slice. But that's just because I never saw it through your eyes. God, that logo. It's so bad. Pretzel. You show me the beauty in everything. I haven't colored you yet, Peppermint. I guess you could be this color. There you, there you go. Beautiful. You would have come in first, but you made one mistake and it cost you the final round. I don't know, I feel like they throw things at you that's not adequately explained in the tutorial. I never heard of this place. Well, all of a sudden, everyone says it's cool. So I wanted to check it out, but the line is so long and I'm so hungry. Maybe I should have tried something unpopular instead. If only you were a hipster, Brussels sprout. Whoa. Oi! There's nothing like a perfect slice. I'll go anywhere they say is good. I'll go anywhere they say is bad, too. I just really like me some slice. That's it. Live your truth, Macaroon. Hi, Turnip. Oh, boy. I had such a trip getting to here from Potluck. I got lost probably six or seven times. But now... I'm finally here. This line is my final challenge! Then I can finally get some tasty, tasty slice! I bet they forgot their wallet at home. Stevia! Sorry about your name, bub. Hey, what's going on here? I've been the only guy going to this shop for years. Now all of a sudden they've got a logo? And a huge lineup? Man, this place changed. Sold their soul to make a buck. Pet. I gotta get some slice, though. I mean, is it really that bad? I mean, you want your favorite place to stay in business. Mamma mia, look at this lineup. Thanks for saving my humble little shop. But now, if you'll excuse me, I've got slice to bake. See ya. Mahjong do not understand. Oh. It's funny, my first exposure to Mahjong was... And like some PC game collection. But it wasn't really Mahjong. It was like a tile matching game instead. So imagine my surprise when I was intro introduced to like real Mahjong, actual Mahjong. Mahjong is intense. Hello. I'm not sure what kind of animal you are. Aha! It's you, the new wielder. About time you showed up. We need to talk about the mail. Mail? Artichoke? You're gonna artichoke me by the looks of it. Um, what's up with the mail? What's up with the mail? It's going nowhere. That's what's up. My workers haven't shown up since the color wipe. Someone needs to deliver it. And that someone is you. Ah, uh, why me? Because you're a public servant. And you travel around anyway. And it was your color wiping that got us into this mess. But no buts. Now take this. We had enough butts in the temple. A letter to deliver, K. Okay. It's addressed to two screens right from the dinner's transit bench. You can check it anytime on your collection screen. Come back after it's delivered. Re you really making me do this, bud? Come on now, go deliver that letter. Who knows how long that person's been waiting for the mail? Not long enough, obviously. Yeah, I know. Oh, trouble figuring out where to deliver letters? It's not easy, I know. If only there was some kind of standard way to address letters. But there isn't! So go figure it out yourself. Alright, jeez. Your first exposure was that Mahjong anime by the author of Kaiji. Oh, what was that? What was that show called? I can't remember. I know what show you're talking about. Pepper! Oh, a letter from me? Let me see. Yes. Oh, thank goodness, yes! Somebody named Beans has my lost son! I was deathly worried. I'm so glad he's safe. 
All the way in luncheon? How did he wander off so far? Poor thing. I've got to head to luncheon right away. But thank you so much. I hope we'll see you again sometime. Oh. I delivered a letter. My mailbag's empty now. Can I only carry one letter at a time? That does not seem efficient. Akagi, thank you. So, did you deliver the letter? Yeah. It was to someone, like, right outside. Are you sure you need me to deliver these for you? Absolutely, yes. It's time I've got a whole stack for you to deliver. Some of these letters are going far away. So make sure you get your transit pass from City Hall. Oh good, we can finally get a transit pass. The first one is addressed to the middle of three square houses in a row. If you want to deliver a different one, sort it on your collection screen. Okay. No wonder Chicory was consumed by the power of darkness. If the wielder being forced to solve all of the land's problems as part of the job, you're surprised the wielder ever got uh, to ever hold the uh, every wielder to ever hold the position hasn't been corrupted. Was the new Mario Golf procured? Yes, I haven't played it yet though. I was gonna do it after stream. Um, I got home from work and I played more anime Dark Souls. <laughs> Onion. Oh man, do you know Chicory? That's so wicked. I'm a Big, big fan. Her colors made the world feel so alive and magical. You could feel her spirit bursting out of every stroke. She must be so cool in person. Ah, this is awkward. I saw Chicory once, when she was the wielder filling in dinners. I really wanted to say something, but I was so nervous. <laughs> and she looked busy, so I just kept walking. I still think about it sometimes, though. Like, what if we became friends, then? I'm not, like, an artist or anything. I'm a pretty decent DJ, though. Uh-oh, hey. <laughs> oh, sorry. Do lots of parties and clubs and stuff. Maybe Chicory isn't really the club type. Guess we just live in different worlds. Okay. Was there not a child... There was, like, wasn't there something hopping around the trees around here? What the heck? What is... There. Give me... Have you gotten the new Mario Golf Rifam? Also, hello, Rifam. <laughs> That's the most important thing I should be doing, is... Minding my manners. What are, what are you? Fennel. Man, dinners just ain't the same anymore. The color wipe really killed the vibe. This wall, for instance, it used to have a beautiful mural. I'd see it every day, and it inspired me to live a beautiful life. Without it, there's nothing to inspire me. Guess my life just sucks now. I'd really love to see a mural here again. It'd have to be filled in with colors. With a beautiful scene that inspired me. My life's just empty without it. Ah, <sighs> this wall... It's so bare and uninspiring. Somebody, anybody, paint a new mural here. I can feel my inspiration fading. I'd really love to see a mural here again. Why well, you paint yourself? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. You have not gotten it. You usually don't pre-order games. Oh, I didn't pre-order it either. I just picked it up today. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna... What is a beautiful, inspiring scene? Oops. I'll just do this manually. I don't know. What inspires me? I don't know what inspires me. What is inspiring me lately is, is anime Dark Souls. It's so... It's so over the top. It's so silly. Like, I have to admire the Hutzpah. Um, this kind of looks like a beach. I haven't been at the beach in a long time. I have to do something more interesting than that. Um, come on, me, think, 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 think. There used to be a mural downtown. Like, it was a big mural on, I don't know how many stories the building was. Let's say five or six story building. It was a big painting of John Lennon. And it was really well done, like, really detailed. It was immaculately painted. And then 
some years ago, it just got painted over for some generic advertisement. And it was a little heartbreaking to see. I mean, I guess the giant towering figure of John Lennon staring at you from above might be a little imposing, but it was well done. If I was the artist, I'd be a little sad. You're gonna be inspired by Pretzel and you're gonna like it. You did order the new Mario Party game! Oh yeah! You wait to read the customer reviews on Mario Golf. I've heard around, like a little bit around that it's it's good. I mean, it's Mario Golf. I would be pretty upset if they screwed up Mario Golf. I mean, it's Mario Golf. How do you... I'd say how do you screw up Mario Golf, but I don't want to know. I'm sure you could make some interesting, questionable design decisions that might ruin the integrity. This is supposed to be my beret, but it doesn't really look good. That's fine. Oh, no, that's not the right. There we go. Ears. Ears. John Lennon judges me. What's he judging me for? Do my little apron. Well, it's a smock, but, you know. That is not a very good hand. That's okay. This is a process. I'd be really nervous if I was someone who had to paint murals, like, on city streets or um, on buildings. Just because I, I, I can't... <laughs> okay, this sounds very hypocritical, but I have difficulty drawing when people are watching. Yes, I know. I know. Uh, but, like, seriously drawing when people are watching. Um, like, trying to do, like, really good detailed art, or even just figuring out what I'm trying to do. It's, um, intimidating, for lack of a better word. I feel like my process is gonna be judged harshly. And maybe part of that is from, you know, the usual, like, Did you draw that? Is that you? Can you draw me? Is that anime? Oh, Fight a nickel. So maybe it's just, like, an ingrained response that I don't want to, uh... But I guess this is okay. It's less pretentious. Um, when I'm just, you know, drawn casually and with a limited toolkit makes it less intimidating somehow. Oh, there's no undo, so I just have to own that poor W. No, wait, I don't want pretzel was here. That's, that's too passe. Not pretzel was here. Pretzel is... Oh boy, that's not really le legible, is it? Pretzel is watching. There we go. Are you happy now? Ah, uh, are you finished painting this wall? Yeah. Wow! Looking at this, it actually doesn't make me feel better at all. How am I supposed to improve my life? <laughs> you should take solace to the fact that I'm watching. Always. You don't really have an affinity for Mario Golf games in general. That's fair. Um, I'd say they're not for everyone. <laughs> but I'm a little biased. That's something to encapsulate how I feel. Wow, do you just like, do you get commissions from artists instead of paying them, you just give them some like pocket lint? I'll be on the lookout for other external sources of joy. Thanks. Wow. Well, I'm gonna watch you extra hard, buddy. Watch yourself. Tea Time Meadows, that's so cute. I'm gonna keep exploring the city. Squish. Scoosh. No shame in experiencing stage fright. Oh, hey, it's you. I can't get under the fence, can I? No! What is it these, like, the, the smaller graffiti I've been seeing, I wonder? Eh, get through the bike rack. Does this... This kind of looks like Cyrillic, but I don't know what it says. If it, in fact, says something, it is not merely nonsense. Keep going. I wonder if these. Is, this is like Chicory's drawing. I don't know. 
Can I swim up the pipe to get to the rooftops of buildings? How else am I going to acquire this trash? Hello. Hey, the name's Stevia. You probably saw me and thought, what a tough looking guy with smarts about the streets. And, well, you'd be 100% right. I've got my own graffiti tag and everything. The one with the teeth, right there on the ground. Besides here, I've got it on four buildings and dinners. So, hey, do me a favor. Color in all of my graffiti tags. That'll make him pop. If you do, I'll give you something nice. Is it trash? Are you gonna be trash, artificial sweetener man? How do I get that trash on the roof? It is haunting me. Uh, no, I can't. I cannot ascend the drain pipe. Hmm. Super cool rooftop party! Just one screen left from here. I already forgot about the existence of the rooftop party. I see, I see. I love holding up traffic. Rooftop party! Come upstairs! Okay, okay, later. Oh, here, here's one. There we go. Oh, this must be City Hall. I would like my, my transit pass, please. Whoa. I was gonna say, you are definitely three kids in a trench coat. Hello, an adult. Ahem. Hello, fellow adult. I'm in line to get my transit pass to go on cool adult adventures, um, which aren't even that cool because I go on them all the time as, as an adult. Mm. Taxes, accounting, mowing lawns, Vegetables? These are my favorite things. Taxes and mowing, accounting and veggies. Uh, I, I got nothing else. Have you seen the latest adult-rated film? I sure have. I've seen them all. Even the ones with lots of... Uh, kissing? Ugh, those, those are too spicy for me. I will pass. I'm not an adult, clearly. Stevia will give me his love and respect. Eh, I don't know if I need that. Good day to you. This is the Transit Pass Agency. If you're a citizen of age, you're entitled to a free transit pass here. Would you like a transit pass? Sure. Okay, your name, please. I could change my name. No, I like Pretzel. Okay, Pretzel. What's your birth month? Next. That's November. That's my actual birth month. So now you know. Okay, and what day of the month for your birthday? It is November 17th. Eh. So your birthday is on 11-17? Yeah. huh Okay, thank you. Now come stand in front of the camera. Oh, I should have saved my sneeze for this. Everyone needs Stevia's love and respect. I do not need artificial sweetener. Okay, I'm going to take your photo. Please maintain a neutral expression and pose. <laughs> Can I... I like that face a lot. Yeah. I think it's my favorite face that Pretzel makes, though. This one is like, I'm gonna commit some crimes. <laughs> this is like Superstar Saga. I, I know. I, I do really like lying on the ground dead, though. That That's very much how I was feeling all of yesterday. Yeah, this one. Okay. Now just sign on the bottom here. Please refrain from marking other areas. God. <laughs> <sighs> hmm. 
Hmm, how do I vandalize this effectively? I'm gonna draw my spirit leaving my body. Because that's clearly the, what's happening in this photo. Has anyone else gotten to try the new Mario Golf yet? I mean, I'm gonna try it after stream, of course, but I'm curious if anybody else has any thoughts about it. I mean, I would have gotten around to it, but I wanted to play more anime Dark Souls. Like it's I, I don't know if the plot gets any less anime. That's okay, I don't think I need a really in-depth plot. I just need to run around in a stupid outfit and hit things with my big... Bardish? What is a Bardish? I don't know. That's the thing I'm using. It's like a blade on a stick. That is Pretzel's spirit leaving their body. Oh, I guess I should sign it. Actually, no, no. What I should do, um, obviously, is, um, it's like a pretzel shape, right? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I think that's, uh, that's close enough to a pretzel shape. All the golf outfits are really good. All your time spent on Final Fantasy XIV, understandable. Ta-da! Your new card is ready. You can view it any time in the collection screen. You can also now travel between official transit benches. Just take a seat near any transit sign and flash your card. Have a nice day. Well, you have a transit pass? Can we, um... Can I have it? Isn't that illegal? Um, um, so can I have your transit pass? What happens if I- if I give it to you, do I have to redraw it? <sighs> Did you- illegally give your transit pass to those children? No, I'm a completely different individual. Who has a mustache? What are you talking about? Not my problem. Would you like a transit pass? Uh, let me- let me take off this mustache. <laughs> Did I really lose it? I got an achievement. For some reason. Called Trash Mammal. It's very, very, uh, night in the woods. I like the Berean smock. It's cute. You've been busy playing World's End Club, Monster Hunter Rise, Ro oh, Rock of Ages 2 and 3. How is specifically World's End Club? Um, because I like other games that the developer, Uchikoshi, has done. I'm a fan of the Zero Escape series, so I'm curious about World's End Club. Well... Oh, I just got another achievement. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm curious about how World's End Club is, um, and also, uh, the music. Um, both, uh, both the story and music I'm curious about, because, again, the writer has done the, uh, Zero Escape series, which I'm a big fan of, and the composer is Masafumi Takada? I might be getting his name wrong, but he's the Danganronpa composer. <laughs> Well, so much for my spirit leaving my body. Okay. Do the signature again. This is not a good way to draw a pretzel. Never really had to draw, like, a pretzel shape before. <laughs> 
I've made pretzels before, but I feel like drawing them um, is a uh, or re not drawing them. Um, uh, I get too lazy when it comes to shaping them, so I usually just make pretzel buns. Okay, well, since I drew my soul leaving my body, I'm going to draw a bunch of Hitol Dama, the little ghostly balls of fire. I guess Pretzel is just undead now. Perfect. There we go. I am haunted by the ghost of my previous past. Ta-da! Your new card is ready. Cool. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you for not arresting me! Oh, there's trash. Oh, I still have the, the, the fill bucket brush style out. Oops. Haven't gotten too far to World's End Club. But when you've played so far, it's interesting. You'll have to let me know how it is. Um, I know a friend has mentioned that it was kind of controversial in some, some circles, because I think it was on the... Uh, Apple Arcade. I'm just going to look for Stevia's graffiti, graffiti while I'm thinking about it. Um, but the version on Apple Arcade was like a glorified demo, so you didn't get the whole game and thus it just kind of cut off. Oh, there, there's one. Um, yeah, I want to see what else the writer comes up with. Boy, I am just like all over the place today with talking. Oh, there's a child here. There we go. I don't know why my brain is just not relaxing. Oh, 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 hey. As an art student, I'm trying to keep up with the wielder's work. It is cool to see you take your skills to the streets. Is that... Did I say it right? Well, I like it anyways. Oh, thank you. This is a really cool mural. I feel like... It shows a different side of you than we've seen before. It's cool that you're so talented. But you're still evolving and trying new things. Nobody appreciates you enough. Darn Skippy, Peppermint. Yeah, I love seeing this outsider art. You've adorned this wall with your creativity. And in doing so, snatched some power straight from the establishment. Although I guess the whole wielder thing enforces an ancient hierarchy with gatekeeping rules and power dynamics, which basically makes you the establishment of art. So I guess nothing actually transgressive happened here. Just more of the establishment, exerting its dominance over us common artists. Man, I hate that. Well, yeah, Pretzel is watching. What part of that did you not get? I am the law. You're playing the Switch version, which is the full game. There's a demo of it, right? I gotta I gotta get around to playing it. But I just I haven't done it yet. Eventually. Um Well, if there's more graffiti that I missed. What I don't see it, but then I just could be blind. Whatever, let's go to the rooftop party. Let me in. Oh. Oh, hi. Hi, Avocado. Welcome to the rooftop party. Did you see my flyers? To be honest, I'm kind of new to throwing parties. People keep coming up here, but when they see the big empty roof, they just kind of look around awkwardly and then <laughs> leave. They probably should have thought about decoration or furniture. A lesson learned. Uh, if you have any of that stuff, you should totally throw it down here. Sure. Okay, I guess can I decorate here too? Um. I already got my campfire out. I can put a lantern out though. Okay. How about floor? What do I got? Carpeting. Beach towel. Ghosts. Oh yeah. Well, now you know this party is happening because people have definitely died here. So you can have a picnic amongst the ghosts. I'll put some plants on your roof, right in the concrete, that are definitely going to grow big and strong. <laughs> Was I am the law judge dread reference? It can be. <laughs> I didn't even think about it, but it can be if you want it to be. 
Judge Pretz now. What do I got? Sunbathe lounger? Oh, you can't have a rooftop party without one of these. It's making me think a little bit about Super Mario Odyssey. Um, and just, uh, the stuff around New Donk City. Like the, uh, um, what you do, the, uh, uh, like various rooftop cafes and gardens and stuff. Um, can I not scroll with... Oh, that's awkward. I guess I could put, put one jack-o'-lantern here. Uh, what else I got? Outdoor umbrella, perfect, so people can stay nice and cool during this rooftop party. Perfect. Oh, oh, oops. Hang on. Oh, I see. I can't put it in one of the gray spots. I got it. I got it. Okay, picnic table. This is a mess. That's okay. Um, I have a vision. And my vision is ghosts. Um, yeah, we gotta have cook campfire cook off. Oh, this is really awkward to scroll. Ooh, spooky arch. You gotta make oh. Gotta make an impression when you come in. No, I wanna put it over the door. <sighs> okay, there we go. Iron fence. Oh. I guess this isn't really gonna fit over the <laughs> fence around a fence. Maybe, maybe not. Nah. Nah. I'll just get rid of it. Um. Coffin shelf. Perfect. Okay. Alright, this this looks pretty happening, right? Yeah. Oh, heck yeah! This is it! The party is saved! You did me a huge solid! I bet loads of people will show up soon. Maybe check back in a bit? Uh, let's, let's add some color. Hope people don't mind. I'm gonna add some color here. Eh. I always worry I'm gonna bore the stream by painting stuff. Of course, the host has to has to have some color too. Um, gee, I don't really have a whole lot of colors to work with on this balcony here. That's fine. Okay. Make this stand out. Um, I mean, that's, that's not bad, right? It's something. Oops. No, a color. Color the coffin. Jeez. Okay. Cool. Perfect. Great. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, hey, Pickle. Oh, party. Check it out. It's my party wiggle. My special attack. I'm gonna use it to try to attract friends. Okay. Um, is that is that your party wiggle? It's like an idle animation. I guess that counts as a dance move. Yeah, party! You know I'm always gonna be where the party's at. You gotta get some music going here, though. It ain't a party without some tunes blasting. I'll let you figure that out. Alright, hang on. Uh-oh. Oh no, this is cool. I love a good rooftop party. The decor is perfect too. It just wouldn't be a party without this spooky arch. Darn Skippy, I worked hard to put that on the roof. Thanks for making such a cool spot. Oh, and by the way, I want to pass along a friendly tip. If you place seats from your decor anywhere in the world, wanderers like me will probably show up there. Could be a neat way to make some friends, you know? See you around. Oh, that's actually interesting. I think I can do. Hello, croquet. Croquette, croquet. I'm glad there was a party going on. I needed a break from my job. I'm really committed to it. It's an important cause. But yeah, I can forget to stop. The plant exchange is a pretty new program, so we have to work extra hard to demonstrate its value. If we can't show results, I'm worried we'll be shuttered. Oh, look at me. Still just talking about work. <laughs> Being the wielder must be a stressful job, too. Coloring everything sounds like fun, but there's a lot to color, isn't there? 
Well, I hope you remember to relax and have fun, too. We'll see. Um, music. I did see a sound tab. But I don't have anything in the sound tab. I can't get this party bumping. This is cool! Just need some music! Yeah. Whatever, P. Make it yourself. Hang on, I have to throw- I have to, uh, throw off, uh, uh, block traffic. Okay, um... I don't even know if I got all of Stevia's graffiti, but I'll go bother him anyway, and we'll see. Then I suppose I should move on with the plot. I guess there is a plot. Not just me painting everything. Although I do kind of want to go back to, um, uh, Potluck for another art lesson. <laughs> I'm kind of a wild guy. I do what I want, and I don't care what people think. You dig? So yeah, go color my tags in the buildings and dinners. Looks like you've got one left. Oh, okay. I missed one. Where is it? I mean, this, this counts as colored in, right? Yeah. Still bugging me. Oh, oh, pardon me. Still bugging me. I can't get that trash. Sorry, pardon my yawning. Maybe I'm more tired than I thought. Where is that graffiti? Spends all his time in Laminsa, joins Immortal Flame, and has Ulda as a home teleport. Uh, see, I joined um, the, uh, the the Maelstrom. Because I have all the speeches, Merle Whips is the only one I found interesting. And I think Limsa Laminsa is a more interesting city anyway. Where is that last graffiti? Am I just blind? I got that. Um... I don't see it here. You didn't want to join any of them? Eh, that's, that's fair. What is there? Aha. Uh -huh. Child. Cool. Where's that last graffiti? I don't see it here. I don't see it on this screen. Maybe it's on the slice? Oh, hey. Reason. You ever think about how Slice is a weird name for something? I know it's because you eat it in slices, but... Well, never mind. Alright, that was that was very insightful. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Raisin. Man, that logo is... Ugh. I don't regret it, but it's just... Ugh. Okay. I don't like the colors for any of them. And it feels like doing uh, the quest for them just feels pointless after a while. Oh, nice! All my graffiti tags are looking colorful and beautiful. Thanks for that. Take this. Oh, okay. Um, why don't I swap this out for this? Get some more texture going. I nicked that off some dorky art student. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. It's a legitimate purchase and not stolen property. Just thought that would sound cool. Have fun with it! Crime is never cool. Except when I do it. People are always asking me, Stevia, how are you such a cool and tough guy? The trick is, you gotta stop caring. About anything. Don't get attached to nothing or no one. Then nothing can hurt you. Oh. I don't play by the rules. Yeah, watch out, buddy. We live in a society. And yet you participate in that society. Curious. I am very intelligent. Um, I'm gonna try the transit pass. If I can remember where the transit bench is. And go to Potluck and do a couple lessons. And then I'm gonna continue onwards. Yeah. I really need to, like, just go around off-camera and paint stuff. Whoa. That's like a Corviknight. Cool. You have anything new to say to me? No? Okay. <sighs> oh, goodness. Pardon the yawning. My stars. Aha. Uh -huh. I had a vague recollection of the ringing gift here. Oh, this is the hipster colleague... Stripes. Nice. Flannel. 
I don't own anything flannel. It's a good look, though. Stevia, your ideas are intriguing you and you wish to ascribe to your newsletter. Where's the Art Academy? This way? Yeah, here we go. Let me in. Wait, it's really empty in here. Everybody's out getting slices. For today's assignment, I want you all to draw your first memory. Think back to that time. What did you see? How did it feel? I want you to capture all of that. Get to it! Mm. Me, personally? That's weird to think about. I have scattered memories of being very tiny. Um, my parents said that I learned to escape my crib from a very early age. Um, and they found out at like four in the morning, they woke up and I was standing next to their bed and like, oh no, she can get out. I was an escape artist, um, for sure. Uh, I remember they tried to stop me. I used to play in the basement all the time. I'm gonna draw a baby pretzel, I think, instead of anything about me. Um, but I used to play in the basement of the house and my parents tried to keep me in there with the baby gate. And it didn't work. I very quickly engineered a way to escape from the basement. Um, I used this, it was kind of like a toy, sort of like a little toy train, I guess for lack of a better word. Um, and uh, it had a little handle on the back so you could push it and, you know, use it to help you walk if you were an infant still learning to walk. Or you could sit on it and, you know, scoot yourself forward. Um, and I used that as a step stool to climb over the baby gate. I could not be contained. Yeah, childproof isn't really childproof. Especially when you have somebody like me. I was just determined to get out. I know more recently I've talked about the uh, the roommate I got stuck with. And she wasn't a bad person, but did not communicate well. And how her mother um, started, uh, was staying with us for several months. You know, and I wasn't consulted on this. And uh, they wound up watching an infant, like, every morning from, like, 6 a.m. to nighttime. And installed a baby gate, like, screwed it into, like, the bottom of the stairs, again, without mentioning anything to me. So I'd have to get around the stupid baby gate every time I wanted to go upstairs. I don't know how good this infant pretzel looks, but I guess I should give them a pacifier. Do you call them pacifiers? I remember my parents calling them soothers. Oops. I don't know if there's an official term for them. And I hear people use pacifier more often, but I'm used to thinking them uh, thinking of them as soothers. There we go. Baby pretzel. Hang on, I need the the hair sticking up. I feel like this isn't funny enough. I don't know, I feel like it needs something. I got it, I got it. Ennui. In the US you call them pacifier. You learn lock picking at four? Heck yeah. You were quite the escape artist in your infancy, and yet you weren't able to talk until you were three. Then when you did start speaking, you were immediately forming complete sentences. You were biding your time, learning, absorbing information. And then you struck full power. All right, brushes down. Let's see how we did. I hope I spelled ennui right. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. How mysterious. I wonder what the story is. Um, I am an infant who is already world-weary, is the story. I want to know too, but I can tell how it felt. Somehow, it feels like I'm there. 
It's nice seeing this side of you. Where was I when this happened? Your sparing use of yellow is pleasing. I like the emphasis on dark blue. There's a very tasteful use of color here. Well done today. Your piece will go to the luncheon wheel to showcase, Pretzel. Keep practicing. One more. I feel like I gotta do art in sets of two. Are they gonna make me restore something now? Take a look at this old classic. Dog. I'm not good at drawing dogs, except pretzel. <laughs> Cooking Cozy by Manicotti. Let's see what you can do with it. Um. Okay. Okay. I'm never sure if I want to, like, try and do a good reproduction or, um. A, uh, uh, let's say a Mori class reproduction. <laughs> um, let's see, what's kind of a neutral color I can use in the background here? Let's do this. I guess I'll try and mimic it at least a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's that's already awful. You, you paint an awful? Good, good, very, very good. Anybody else, else here ever played Parappa? I think about... Whenever I do bad at stuff, I always think about you blank and awful. Just like Parappa. Although, I never own Parappa. I have Umjern Lamy, Which is the pseudo-sequel. And Parappa too. Okay, there's that. And then I'll do the Doug. Uh, I don't know what color I want to do the Doug in. Red. It's not going to be a good dog, but that's fine. I can't remember how many of you have pets. I know some of you have a dog. I feel bad now that I can't remember. I mean, you folks know I have a cat, right? Cosmo. I have been a cat owner all my life. I mean, I like dogs, but I don't think I'd ever be able to take care of one. I don't think I'd have the energy and having to take them outside when it's like minus 30 out. Eh. No thanks. I, I will take a hard pass on that. And I think with just how perpetually exhausted I am, it wouldn't be fair to the dog um, if I just wasn't able to take it out for walks as often as I want to. Or on weeks like this when it's so stupid, stinking hot out. It's um like 30 degrees Celsius here, which would be about 90 in uh, Fahrenheit and I know next week um, well I'm in, the, I'm in the west coast so we're oh I don't like that pink we're subject to that uh, the heat wave that's been going around um, so I know next week we have a high that's I think like 37 degrees and another one that's about 40 degrees which would be geez like 110 I think I'm using the old double it and add 30 metric, which isn't perfect, but it's it's going to be ludicrous. I want no part of it. Both dogs and cats. What are their names? I like to hear about people's pets. That was the only thing I found tolerable about working at a drive through location was um, getting to see the dogs and like at one point a cat. There was at least one cat. I think I saw a couple cats. One that was like just sitting on the passenger seat, chilling. And another one I could hear at the drive through speaker, and I thought it was like a child yelling in the back seat, but no, it was it was a cat. Which, you know, that's fair. I think it's pretty uncommon for cats to like traveling. I don't know the cats I've ever had have been fans of it. I suppose if they're used to it, but how often do you go traveling with a cat? Boy, this... This dog is, uh, something, huh? Well, it's fine. It's not really good, but that's, that's okay. Doing the best with the resources I have available. Eh. 
dog named Princess by her sister, cats Blackie and Harley, respectively. My dad said when he was growing up, um, I feel like this is hyperbolic, but he said that half the pets they had were named Princess by my aunt, his younger sister. I don't know if that's true or not. He's been very hyperbolic about some of the stuff that my aunt has done. Like, he says she's notorious for casually spoiling things because she just can't wait to tell you about it. But I've, I mean, granted, I get to talk to her very often, but I've never had her spoil anything for me. But my dad, on the other hand, and I have to remind him, like, hey, I haven't watched whatever this episode is. You know, please stop just spewing spoilers. Like, oh, sorry. Well, if you're sorry, then don't do it. Jeez. Jeez. Respectively wasn't needed there. I, I knew what you meant. Maybe you meant you named them respectfully. This is fine. I'm, it's not good, but you know, it's fine. I think I'm okay with fine. All right, brushes down. Let's see how we did. I like ennui better, personally. I feel that more captures my spirit. Oh, that's so charming, Pretzel. The original painting is pretty old, but your version feels fresh and modern. I feel like you translated the spirit really well. I'm intrigued by the splash of light green. The shapes are complex. There's a lot to think about. Yeah, dog. That's what you gotta think about. You made good use of that light orange-yellow color. Did I? Okay, that's it for now. Your piece will be in the Elevens' Master Gallery, Pretzel. Keep practicing. I really think you should have put Ennui in the Master Gallery, but what do I know? You should actually put the cursed creepy pasta Mallow in uh, the gallery. Um, this way, I think. This way is where I gotta go. Oh, you, you have new dialogue for me? Okay. Oh my, is that a letter for me? Oh yeah, square houses. Let's take a look. Ugh. It's a birthday card from Turnip. Happy birthday! But my birthday was months ago. And we live right next door. Sorry. I thought I sent it on time, but... Um, I guess I didn't. Well, you did your best. Thank you, sweetie. I delivered a letter. The address is two screens north of the Sips River Bridge. Where the heck? Oh, so, oh, it would be the badger. The badger fella. I could probably get there really quick, right? Leveling a new class to 15 is a chore. Oh, hang on. Um, I think there's some, is there some I try to remember if there's some piece of gear or just like a bonus you get to leveling lower classes based on your highest level class, but don't quote me on that. Hello, definitely a real adult. Well, um, a fellow adult, I see. Are you also in line for delicious holy? I sure am. <laughs> My mom never lets me have any. Uh, because I'm on a diet. A grown-up diet. Calories. Yikes. <laughs> but maybe it's okay to have just one or twenty. How many children are in this trench coat? Uh, the bonus experience up to level 30. That's it. Um, when you unlock Palace of the Dead, I know that's also a good way to level up uh, a lower level class as well. You gotta get a good team for Palace of the Dead, though. I know there's a boss, like uh, one of the early bosses you can fight in there has this mechanic that's fairly easy to deal with as long as you know about it but if you don't it'll wipe the team oh hi i love it here i was just out for a wander but i had to stop and rest when i saw this pretty spot you colored it right you did great thanks so much oh by the way uh, i hope this isn't weird but i've been working on something for you uh, it's a little weird. It's, uh, not ready yet. But next time you see me around, be sure to say hi, okay? I mean, uh, this is only the second time I've ever seen you, Pistachio, but okay. Welcome back, Dawn! But yeah, um, I know... 
once I did Palace of the Dead, and I had already cleared it, so it wasn't a big deal, but uh, I asked the other people in my party when we got to the boss, does everyone know the mechanics of this boss? And I had one person say, I think so, and the other two just not respond. God, I forgot about that stupid face I drew. And I'm like, well, okay. They start fighting the boss, and surprise, surprise, they don't know the mechanics, and we wipe. And they just leave without saying anything. Cool. Well, well, this piece is so personal. Looking at this, I really feel like I'm getting to know you. You seem like such an interesting person. I wish I was interesting, too. Uh, it's really intense, Peppermint. Um, I'm not sure how to feel about that, you know, parasocial relationships and all that. Hello, Basil. Ah, uh, you've got a letter for me there. Let me see. Oh, how lovely. It's a letter from my old friend Gelato and Brecky. I've got to go pay him a visit sometime. Oh, where are my matters? Pretzel, thank you for delivering this. I've got a little something for you, actually. It's a very special flower. One I picked out just for you. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did you know chicory was the name of a flower, Pretzel? Boy, Pretzel's face really says a lot, doesn't it? It's a pretty one, too. I hoped you might like it. You delivered a letter! Yeah, addresses to beans. Oh, okay, I guess I can do that, too. I want to get on with the story, but... <gasps> Hello, Joanna! <laughs> oh, boy. But yeah, that's, that's a little intense, Peppermint. I should look up parasocial relationships sometime. Don't be weird. Where where is beans again? Heck. Um. Oh, that's not what I want. Uh. Okay, it's just south of me. Okay, okay. I can't remember what nothing is. That's not true. I can. I'm good at making internal maps of places, but I have to be focused for that. Well, hey, Pepper. My son was here after all. I'm so glad Beans took care of him for me. But there's still a huge problem. Not only did my son go missing and Beans' kids too, but there's tons of lost cases reported across Picnic. I can't sit idly while this goes on. So I cross-referenced every report I could find and put together, well, this. Well, it's really like the Maya Mai's now from A Link Between Worlds. We're gonna get a stronger fire rod after all this is done. It's an add-on to your camera map. It'll show you where all the remaining lost kids are. Pretty cool, hey? While you track them down, I'll take care of them here with beans. Let's get everyone home safe together. Eh? You got a letter for me? Oh, nice. Looks like someone saw Pepper's flyers. She's been a huge help, gotta say. With kids missing across picnic, she's working her butt off. Trying to raise awareness and get him home. She's really something, you know? It's hard to put into words, but... Something really turned around for me when she showed up. Folks across Picnic are helping us figure out this kid crisis. And I feel like me and Pepper can do a big part together. Thanks for uh, bringing us together. By delivering that first letter. Cool. The highest house in Brecky, they can wait. Good luck, you two. I gotta say, Beans is one heck of a gal. She's ready to take care of as many kids as she can. From the mess in her place, I thought she'd be a rough character. But she's got a huge heart. Going through all those lost kid reports? It's heartbreaking. So many kids went missing. Almost couldn't even get through all the reports. I was so upset by it. But someone had to do something. With Beans' help, I think we can do this. Where are their parents, though? Oh. There's a skunk. No, I don't want you. I want to... Okay, I can't pet the skunk. Whatever. Okay. Hey, you met Pepper? Her kid went missing, too, and ended up here somehow. Turns out it's a bigger issue than just us. So we're taking care of all the kids we can together. At least, till their folks show up. It's a lot for one gal, but I think I can manage with her. Pepper's been a huge help around this house, gotta say. 
She's definitely the tidy type. She's kind of been begging me to toss all this junk out. It's hard to part with, though. It's my entire life's worth of stuff. I got her to compromise, since there's still space for kids. If we end up with four more, we'll clean up a bit. That's very specific, Beans. Are they lost if you know where they are? Good question. Oh, your friend is playing tank. You're only leveling up Mirage so you don't have a rando tank. That's good. Now one of you has to do healer. I've been alone for a while. Having someone else here has been... eye-opening, honestly. Life's so much easier with a helping hand. And I know the place was messy, but I might not have realized just how bad. It's getting tight in here with all the kids. Once we get four more, we'll clean out some clutter. Okay, we're good, we're good. Let's actually move on with the plot now. Like, I, I'm torn between wanting to move on with the story and also wanting to see all the dialogue. I may have a problem. Leveling up Lancer, or Dragoon. Oh, uh, my, my pal Carrie, who is here sometimes, um, has Dragoon as her main class. All I know is that you get to do sweet flips, and that's all you really need, I suppose. Okay, now we gotta find the insect queen. The fact there's trash up there I can't get is still bugging me. Okay, grub caverns are that way. What's up north here? House. Hello. Oh, you look ornery. Spinach. You look like a rude bird, so you gotta be blue. A litter-free province. That's my dream for picnic. Wouldn't that be lovely? But for it to come true... We've got to pick it all up. I'm trying to do my part, but there's just so much. Right now, the place you've been with the most litter would be... Supper Wids. There's litter on two screens there. Someone ought to go pick that up. Uh, you're, you're kind of cantankerous, but I mean, you, you got a good heart. You're better than, like, Rivali and Falco and Child. Child. There we go. Um... Oh, okay. Can't go through here yet. That's good. I want to go through another corruption. I want one of the one of the more of those cool boss fights. Okay, grub caverns. Let's go. Might be faster to just uh, which one? There we go. How do I get over there? Oh, there was an entrance outside. I don't know if I can... Can I get up there from over here? Oh, it looks like I should be able to. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, getting a new power is always nice. I mean, we've mastered jumping. What else is there for us? That's all you really need, right? Oh my gosh. Just get, get in the hole. Get in the hole. Spike. That's too punk rock for me. I'm not really a fan of the whole punk rock thing. Pretzel looks uncertain of it as well. Ah, oh, the clown. Let's let's go for the link look. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Boy, did I ask what everyone's doing tonight? I've been so distracted. I feel like my brain still is not here from after having to spend most of yesterday in bed. What a drag. I mean, I'm very glad I got my second vaccine dose, especially before the inevitable fallout come July 1st, but ugh. Messy. Cool. Trash. Did not even see that trash there, but I'll take it. Ah, yeah. oh, man. Jeez. How many years of my life have I spent playing Mario and I can't even do baby platforms? I did. Okay, good. I don't want to be a bad hostess. Oh, it's the Donald Duck bugs. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I can't not hear it as Donald Duck. A bell? Cool. Well, this is all I need. Ding ding. Kind of looks like a pith helmet, but I guess it's a bell. Okay. Sent to feast. Shortcut to surface. Bugs only. Do I get to be really tiny? Is that what the next power is? I'll go down there after I explore a little more. Yeah. Uh. Oh, hang on. I want to go down. Down. Okay. Uh. There we go. That's what I want. No. I don't like the, the flashy collars and stuff. They're just not my style. Not my jam, as the, the cool kids say. Which I have never been a cool kid, and I never will be a cool kid. That is something that is beyond me. Okay, what's out here? Oh. I do want to go down that creepy, creepy hole, though. Grub Caverns. Okay. Oh, there's Brecky. Oh, this is Tea Time Meadows. I wonder if there's like a shortcut or something I could make. Oh. Never mind. Oh, it's like a, a cockatiel? I want to go down that creepy, that creepy hole first. Oh, hang on. Come on. There we go. Get back in there. I'm cool, you guys. Aw, oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm a little dubious, <laughs> but I appreciate it. I don't know if I'm cool. I think sometimes I can do cool things, but actually... Oops. Being intrinsically cool. I don't know. Especially with this heat wave. Haha. <laughs> Haha <laughs> jokes. I hope the rest of you are staying cool and are going to be able to stay cool come the next week. I don't know if any of you are on the uh, the west coast, but it's going to be a rough one. I know I have a friend who lives in Vancouver Island, and the, uh, the weather there looks like it's going to be around like 40 degrees Celsius next week, which... Ugh. Watch out! Oh, you almost stepped on me! I'm Prunus, the royal bug ambassador. I've been waiting to take you to the queen! Queen Dracera, ruler of all insects. She's... well... She's not accustomed to outsiders. But this matter is serious, so you'll need to meet her. Her city is deep, deep down at the heart of these caverns. The path might be tough for a non-bug like you. Well, I'll see you down there. Okay. Squish, squish, squish. I really hope I don't squish anything by accident. I'm the kind of person where if I'm ever out and about after a rainstorm, I work really hard to make sure I don't step on any worms. Whoa, hi. Uh, these remind me of, um... What are they called? The, the, the creatures in Splatoon 2 that... I can't think of what they're called, but they eat up all the ink. And there's a few times you have to ride on top of uh, really large ones. Can I get on top of one of these and use it to get the present? Because that's what I had to do in Splatoon. Your friend in BC is looking at 42 degrees coming up. Ugh. Gross. No, come on. Ah, jeez. Jeez, no. Okay, there we go. Okay. Perfect. Whoa, the Mystic Sword! Hello! Nice to see you here, and thank you again for your work on uh, your Dicey Dungeon mods. And your Risk of Rain mods as well, although I haven't played that. <laughs> but my brother spoke very highly of Risk of Rain, so it's on my list of something to play one of these days. Those bugs remind you of Kressel. You know what? That's a very good comparison. I like Kressel. I've never trained one, but 
I think they're cute. I'm a fan of bug types. There's so many good bug types that I've never put on my teams before. And I'm disappointed in myself for not doing it. Like Scolipede, I think Scolipede is really cool. And I've never had one on my team. And it is a travesty. I wonder if I can maybe lure it over there. And then jump across, perhaps. Come on. Stop. Good. Not good. Very bad. Come on. Okay. Up. No. Maybe I need to lure it a little closer. Okay. No. Please, Crustle. Crustle, you're killing me. I'm killing myself here. Good, good, perfect. Okay. Eh, good. Nice shirt. Well, I can't not wear a nice shirt. I look like a kindergartner that you would see in a, in anime. I just need a rando seru on my back. And I'll be all set. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see. Get up there from another screen. Yeah, I guess I need to get back on top of Crustle here. There it's a very visceral sort of <laughs> slurping noise. No! Hello, Claire! Welcome! I also got the school cap, right? You weren't- I guess you weren't here for it, but a little while ago, um, our prompts at the uh, Art Academy was our first memory. So instead of drawing anything from my memory, I drew pretzel as an infant, but then with the word ennui on top. Oh, pretzel, I think, very jaded child. <sighs> no, that was wrong. I need to lure this one over so I can jump on top of it. Heck, I'm wasting the stream's time like a fool. But I've got the other one in position now, so that's good. That's a start. Oh, and I'm gonna paint. There we go. Okay. Come on, Crustle. Come on, Crustle! Is anyone here trained to Crustle? Thinking about it? I saw... I don't know what mod it was. There's a Pokemon... like a, well, Not a mod, a fan game out there. Um, and I read some of a Let's Play of it, and it, I think it suffered some of the problem that a lot of fan games have, where it tries really hard to be dark and edgy to its own detriment. But they had some really cool uh, custom Pokemon variants for the region they created, and they had a Crustle that was designed to look like a shortcake, and it was wonderful. Yeah, careful! It must be hard for you to see in this dark. Well, good news! The city is just ahead. Was it Dark Rising? I don't think it was. I don't remember what it was called. I know the other one, the other custom Pokemon I can remember was a, um... I think it was a Bug Steel Vespaquen. Where the, uh... Um... It's underside, for lack of a better word, uh, had rockets on it. I don't know if it was Dark Rising. I don't think it was that grim dark. I hope I didn't scare you too much about Queen Dracera. Oh, this is the, the one from before. Sorry, I thought it was a different bug I almost stepped on. She is a massive, ancient beast of the darkness. But also a total sweetheart. Oh, like me. I'm sure you'll be fine. Come along now. Sorry, I thought it was just a more different insect that I completely crushed. Sorry. Oh, Drat! The way to the city is just down from here. But these rocks have fallen in the way. What an inconvenience! Well, not for me. I can crawl around them easily. But life's hard for a non-bug, isn't it? As an ambassador, I've learned a lot about cultural sensitivity. I suppose you'll need to find a way through. Don't worry. I'll wait patiently for you. Yes, I'm sure you've learned all about cultural sensitivity and how hard life is for non-bugs. Meanwhile, I don't have to worry about getting squished. Well, ideally. Ugh. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm about as dark as the sun. Huh? And my brother has told me that I am the least intimidating person he's ever known, so I think that tracks. Oh wait, no, I want I want Crustle to crumb crumb here. As doing a very good job of bastard. Don't fall asleep, pretzel. Ugh. I can't quite walk off onto Crustle here, and I feel like I'm gonna jump. Oh no, we're good. Onto the ground. Okay. Nope. There we go. Oh man, this it's reminding me a little bit of um the last part of Bug Fables with the uh Ah, heck! I did not mean to do that, no! Um, I just remember some platforming in the, uh, the very last area. Where I had to push a block of ice on moving platforms. Come on. There you go. Okay, I have to be very careful about painting a path for Crustle here. So, maybe if I'm smart I'll do it in reverse. Come on. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Okay, good, good. Now don't don't miss the rocks entirely. That seems like a thing I would do. Okay, perfect. Oops, I didn't mean to pull out the pretzel stamp there. I wanted the bucket tool. The pretzel stamp is good too. I say it every time, but the color palettes in this game please me. Oops. Okay, bucket tool away. Okay. Okay, Lore, you are here. It's a small detail, but I really enjoy how Pretzel dries themselves off after emerging from the paint. It's the little things. No, come on. There you go. Let's see, let's see. So I can jump across here. I can move this out of the way here. Oop. Okay, and then jump across here. Is that a slope down there? I can't quite tell. I guess it is a slope. Come on. Don't push me off. Don't push me off. I am stuck. Nope, nope. Do you mind? Personal space, please. Thank you. Oh, hmm. Well, that's an interesting glitch there. Um, hmm. How to proceed? I can get up here. I want that gift, too. Oh, don't make me think. I'm not paid enough to think. Um. Where do I position these things so I can get over yonder? I feel like I'm missing something obvious here. Hmm. So I can't I can't make you go down here, can I? No, it doesn't look like it. I can't jump on top. Hmm. Is there something in the other room maybe I need to do first? If anybody sees what I am not doing here, please let me know, because I'm sure it's very obvious. And I'm sure it's painful to watch. Thinking. I don't see a path ahead. The ledge on the far left of the screen is a bit higher than the one to the right of it. Oh, oh, you're right. Now that I look at it. Thank you. Aha. I was looking at them thinking they were equidistant. Perfect. Whatever's in this box is yours, Zarthwomp. A big fungus. Oh, man. Big hat. Is there some sort of, like, mushroom shirt I could wear? For true fungal fashion. I'm 
paranoid. This is like just barely not gonna be close enough. Eh, okay, perfect. Has anybody made berets that look like Really? Oh, wait. You can't push this closer, can you? Oh, it kind of can. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, come here. I was worried I'd approach this from the wrong side. Okay. Come on. There we go, nice. Now we collect the trash. Oof. Okay, now... I have to get it over here somehow. Oh no, there's rocks here too. You couldn't see the stream for a bit and all those squishing noises were intense. Oh, it was... It was brutal, it was gruesome! I'm glad you were able to shield your eyes from such gore, such brutality. I can't push this on top of that block from here, can I? Okay. Okay. Come on. Uh, there we go. I'm really glad that you can't accidentally push it off. The ledge. The game is very kind in that regard. Thank you, chicory devs. It is very important. Oof. It's the little things that make the experience a lot less frustrating than it could potentially be. Okay. Here we go. No, no. Man, I can't remember the names of those things from Splatoon, and it's driving me bananas. Okay, oof. I'm <laughs> back here. Okay, there's still that present down there, but I can push this now. Um, before I... I want to know what's here. I guess I'll have to ride the, the rock back over, but I want to know what's in this screen. Well, a present. Well, I gotta get that. Okay, maybe if I can hop back and then launch... Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah! Oh, heck yeah. Mushroom hat and a tuxedo. We are fans. Yeah, the Zamboni things, but I can't remember what they're called. And it's driving me nuts that I can't think of what they're called. It's on the tip of my tongue. I mean, gosh, how many hours have I spent playing Splatoon? Granted, the, most of that is in multiplayer, not the single-player campaign, but I've beaten all the single-player stuff. So... It should be in my brain somewhere. Uh, let's see. Oh, it just scooped me up. Well, that was very kind. Speaking of Zambonis, um, my uncle, for his birthday, uh, as a gift, he was given the opportunity to drive a Zamboni. I guess that's something that you can just do. Is pay for the privilege of driving a Zamboni. Spike helmet? No, it's not as good as my mushroom. Forget it. Um, let's see. I don't think I can do anything else here since I can't maneuver this orb through. I don't think. No. Okay. Um... Oh, I can jump across from there, I see. I need object permanence for this. Come on. There you go. Eh. I wonder how much it costs to, uh, to drive a Zamboni. It would certainly be novel, if nothing else. My dad's company once did this. I, I, I might have told this on stream. I don't remember. My dad's company once did this, um, like, corporate golf day. And everyone could bring a plus one. And my mom couldn't go, so I went with my dad instead. 
and um, I asked to drive the golf cart because I wanted to, you know, five years old, I want to drive the golf cart. And so I was driving the golf cart. Hang on, I gotta get that trash. And then the, uh, I guess the park warden came by. As we, and I, I was driving fine. I was driving safely and at a reasonable speed, but he just saw this, you know, young lady driving and pulled up and said, are you 16? And I said, yes, because I was. I was 16 at the time. Do you have a driver's license? No. And he said, well, you can't drive the golf cart. And as he left, my dad said, why didn't you lie? Dad, I can't, I can't lie. What if, what if he throws me in jail or whatever elaborate punishment? Oh heck, I was imagining because I am peak goody two shoes. It's embarrassing. I don't know. I don't, I don't think the golf ward man had the power to arrest me, but what if I can't, I can't go back to jail. As a joke, please. I've never, never been to jail. I do not intend on going to jail. Please do not take that out of context. Thank you. I mean, this is me last stream. I said I never, I've never skipped a class before, so you can tell I am peak goody two shoes. It's, it's revolting. Honestly, it's embarrassing. Oh, a big present. Oops, that's not what I want. To paint this. Hang on, where's the route to get that big prison? Is it from this screen? Oh, it's down there. I see. I gotta go down and get that first. Have I been up here? Yeah, okay. This is this room. Uh, okay, it wouldn't be a big pain to go back, would it? No. I gotta get the big prison. I gotta get the big prison. No one wants the golf ward to lock them up in the caddy shack. That's where, uh... That's where you go when you cheat at Mario Golf. You go to jail. Um, hmm. Can I not get this here? How do I get up there? Because I can't get down there. Oh, here. I completely missed that device, that creature. Will this launch me on top of it? Pew, nice, okay. Oh, even better. Took me exactly where I wanted to go. And I think this will lead me here. No, come on. A little further, there you go. I really hope this is the right spot, I'm gonna check. Okay, that looks like the right spot. <sighs> go. Nice, nice. What did I get? A brush style. A right angle, that's boring. This style makes straight lines and angles. I don't need that. I'm too messy for that. I'm not good at doing things like perspective and art. I just don't have the patience for it. Terrible, I know. When I took uh, that cartooning class I spoke of some years ago, um, the only lesson I really didn't like was the one on perspective. And I know it's important, but just like having to do a bunch of drawings where you're just drawing grids and then just drawing rigid structures to me is very boring. And I mean, it's, it's an important, um, what is the word I want? It's an important building block, I suppose, to art. Like you need to know the rules before you can break them, but ugh, it just feels, it's tedious. I don't like it. Pew, okay. Then I can maneuver this across. Right angles? No thanks, you're all about wrong angles. Darn right. Only wrong angles. That's it. Um, apparently, I'm trying to remember the name of the, the fellow who taught the class. I want to say his name was Brian Batista. He was cool. Um, and he wasn't originally the one scheduled to teach the class. It was originally, I don't remember the name of the artist... Um, who was set to teach that class, but, uh, apparently he was very much an adherent to the, like, the Marvel style of drawing comics, and that's what he was gonna teach us all and sort of be insistent on, like, this is the style we want you to do for drawing comics. 
And I know just for fun, um, the instructor we did get showed us a video um, done by Stan Lee talking about how to draw the Marvel way. And the same face was killing me. Like, all the dudes were square-jawed square -jawed and muscular, and all the women had thick lips and high cheekbones and thin noses, unless, unless they were evil. Either the older and or the more evil you were, the more lines were on your face. But, like, everybody had the same facial structure. And, I'm boy, I'm glad I dodged that bullet because my style does not look like that at all. He finally made it. Well done. It's just a bit further now. I can't wait. Ominous. This looks like... I thought this was, like, a fish bone here, but it's not. It's just fungus. Not as cool. Where can I sit? Squish. I like that that's there, even though it doesn't really serve a purpose. I just like that it's there. Everyone knows the older you get, the more detailed you become. That is correct. You gotta, you gotta wait until you're old enough until you become like an MC Escher drawing. This is it! The entrance to Feast. You'll be the first wielder to visit in decades. What a huge, exciting moment! Uh-huh. I hope this isn't rude. What? But you don't look very excited. You seem a bit sad. Oh. Well, I guess I am. Oh. Sorry. I've just been thinking about a fight I had with a friend. Oh, I see. Um, to be honest, I'm starting to feel like I shouldn't even be the wielder. Oh, awkward. Chicory is an amazingly talented artist, and I'm nobody. I don't think I belong here. Well, I understand how you feel. You do? It's really tough being the royal bug ambassador. I've learned so much about non-bug cultures. Just speaking your language is really tough for a bug like me. You barely have an accent. Thank you. All my life, my skills have been totally useless. Actually, they make me different from everyone. So I don't feel like I belong here either. You're the first non-bug I've ever met. Oh, wow. Sorry, I must be disappointing. No, no, you're lovely. I think you're doing a good job. You came when we needed you. That's what really matters. Um, and for once, I don't feel useless. So, thank you very much. Anyway, let's go meet Queen Dracera. I feel kind of bad now I gave you such an obnoxiously squeaky voice. Little bug friend. Pretzel was here. Pretzel was here. Pretzel was here. Help. Pretzel was... No. Pretzel was here. The way you see it when it comes to the arts, the only rules are the ones you form as a result of trial and error. Well, I mean, yeah, you gotta know the basics, sort of like uh, basic anatomy and whatnot. But again, like, once you once you get a sense for how those things work, then you can mess with them. Uh, this is this is cool design. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's roach language. Will I ever stop bug posting? No, no, I won't. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. I don't even know what kind of sounds you would make with all these mandibles, but I am here for it. Can I talk to this thing over here? Oh, there's trash. Hello. <laughs> Beautiful. Poetry. Trash. And when people try and talk to me early in the morning, this is basically what I hear. A little bug learned an entire language just to guide me. That is true power. I want to study harder at Japanese because you've inspired me, little bug. Ganbarimashou. There's a cave. It's in the cave. Jinyan. Ojin, Dani. Uh huh. Do they say the same thing? Ani. Chani. Cool, this looks like shrimp. 
It's really weird not having to run around in a giant circle for positional attacks on enemies as a tank. It's hard picking stuff up with Marauder, though, at least until you learn, um... I don't even remember the name of the skill. The one that lets you pick stuff up by swinging your axe in a circle. I don't really like the cone one. Hello. Danny? Continua. Very cute. It's like a little jumping spider. <laughs> oh, you got spots. Cool. Oh, this place rules. I can't understand anything anyone's saying. But I don't care. It rules. Pretzel was here. Pretzel is going nowhere. Trash. I like that they're trying to communicate with Pretzel. Even though Pretzel has no idea what's going on. It's a giant can of raid when you need it. No! You're not wiping out the civilization. I bet. Uh-huh. You just smile and nod. It's like it's like customers talking to me when it's early in the morning and I just I can't parse anything that anyone is saying. Or when I can't hear them because there's loud machinery and music and plexiglass and masks and I have to ask them three times to repeat themselves and eventually you just uh-huh yep I'm sorry I didn't miss anything up here did I oh there's more trash where am I oh I'm up here in the corner I can't... Can I get up here? There's something I can swim up. Can I? No. It doesn't look like it. But how do I acquire this trash? Maybe I'll learn to fly is my next power. What are you? I want to talk to you. Oh, this thing is so cute. Hello. Sininya? Toninya? Tonkani? Cha? Yes, I support you all the way, little buddy. Well, this looks official. Okay, this is Queen Dracera's lair. I've spoken to the guards so you can enter. Um, just one thing. You can't speak bug, can you? N no That's okay. Give me just a moment. <gasps> that tickles! Yes, I'm here in your head now. I'll help you to understand Queen Dracera's wretched utterances. Well, go on then. Wretched utterances. Oh, that's that's what I do. Every stream. What you're listening to right now. Wretched utterances. It's a good phrase. I may gain the ability to climb up walls. Sticky feet like a spider. What kind of decorum does the queen of insects expect from me? How do I address her? Do I have to bow? Avert all eight of your eyes. Surface Dweller! How dare you enter our chamber? Looking so darn cute! Oh, we can't stand it! We swear each wielder gets cuter than the last! You see, I warned you! She's so embarrassing! Oh, hush, Prunus! So, you'll help us, won't you? We don't know why or where they're coming from, but we're besieged by black roots from above. The cramping pour us in our hole here. I like that much like the King of All Cosmos, she also speaks um, with the royal we. And they're scaring our citizens too. Our pact with the wielders means you owe us assistance. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Hmm, you don't speak bug, we suppose. That may be tricky. Prunus, would you be a deer and live on this one's head? We have fleas now. Uh, of course, it would be my pleasure. Sorry, we have flea now. Oh, uh, won't that be awkward? Oh, no, no, it's a dream come true. I'll get to learn so much about the service world. Don't worry, I'll be completely out of your way. 
I can keep your ears clean too. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Okay, sure. Screw the raid. We need a bomber full of bug bombs. No. Well, sure, I guess. I like that we're wearing a nice suit and a mushroom hat to visit the queen. We wish we could live with an adorable service dweller, too. Well, the main tangle of roots is south of Feast. Our guards will let you through to see it. Best of luck to you, little wielder. You're a friend. I got an achievo, uh, achievement called Ancient Beast of Darkness. We're so glad to meet another wielder. They come only so rarely. And truthfully, the last one we met wasn't nearly so cute. We have been about for a long, 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 long time. But you little wielders seem to come and go so quickly. So sad, we always miss them. We used to live on the surface once, so long ago now. We were much smaller then, things were easy. We remember the sun, so hot and bright. We remember that first wielder and their delightful colors. Ah, oh, precious memories. You're cool, miss. Queen, I guess I shouldn't address a queen as miss. That might be rude, potentially. Green, there we go. I really like the way that she just uh, waggles around like that. Nice bit of personality. Wallenbergier. Uh, Wallenberg, yeah, I'm sorry. I, it's probably German and I screwed that up. Did you and the Queen have a nice chat? She's really something else, right? It's very rare that even we get to speak with her. So don't take it for granted. I shall not. Um, I don't even know what kind of food your name was, my friend. Gwewia. Oh my, what a lovely little creature. How do you like my antenna? And my sleek little skin dots. Aren't they lovely? They must be overwhelmingly pretty for a foreigner like you. I know why pretzel looks so uncertain. They are cute. It's funny how you cover yourself with those little cloths. Without those, you must be very ugly, I guess. Or does it help you hide from predators? Yeah, my, my day glow green suit definitely lets me hide in like trashy nightclubs. I wonder so much about your funny surface culture. I love the little sounds you make. Oh, you're just so strange and lovely. We need another word like weeaboo and tiaboo, but for a surface dweller. I can't think of what that would be though. Hang on, this is where I came in, yeah? Yeah. I just wanna make sure I'm not missing talking to any friends. Malvasier? Oh, can you understand us now? <laughs> Oops. Oh, were you just saying stuff? A skyabu? Or Dysia? Do you know what this place is? When we reach a certain age, bugs come here to go into a hole for a while. While we're down there, we change and grow. It's how we become adults. The majesty of life and growth is here before us. Huh. We have a period like that, too. I wouldn't call it magical, though. And you don't really go into a hole. Choosing your hole is technically meaningless, but it has a lot of importance to us. We like to say there's the right hole for each bug. Some holes are used by the same family for generations, what about you? Do any of these holes feel like yours? I know there's a very obvious joke we could make, but we're not gonna do it unless the game does it. So many stories come from these holes. For example, how do you know when you're ready to go? What happens when somebody waits too long to go to their hole? I can recommend some great books with tales like these. Oh, but I suppose you wouldn't be able to read them. Oh, I wanna know about bug puberty. Oh, I can't do it. I don't want to leave. Please don't make me. I'm not ready for the world out there. Everything's scary. But in my hole, everything's okay. Oh, feel that, buddy. I know I'm being a bit silly. 
I will leave here. Eventually. When I'm ready. Just leave me be. Oh, you're a neat. Not in education, employment, or... Transforming? Well, I don't know if you've already gone through bug puberty or not. Little jumping spider. You're in charge of making all that tasty color, right? Just looking at your brush makes me hungry. There you go. Not all bugs eat color, but I sure do. I was so sad when it all suddenly disappeared. Please make this as much as possible. I heard it was not an education, employment, or training, but trade works too. I was trying to think of a bug pun though, and I got nothing. I ruined it. It's rare for the color person to appear here, but they're probably the one surface dweller who comes because of a pact with the queen. It means more tasty color for us, so it makes us happy. Shglorp. Gotta make sure I talk to all these bug friends. Hello. Melaluca? This is a shortcut up to the surface world. Um, for bugs, I mean. I assume you can't climb up walls like us. Oh, you might be onto something about climbing walls. Sometimes I'm jealous of the littler bugs. They can discreetly come and go to the surface world, but there's no way I'm sneaking out there. I mean, here's better anyway. But sometimes I wonder. I mean, you could be like that actual adult and maybe wear a trench coat and some sunglasses, some really big sunglasses, and no one will know. Maybe that's why they sell those weirdly oversized sunglasses for all the people out there that are actually bugs. Not in education, employment, or training. Aha. Uh -huh. Sphagnum. I don't like these black roots. They say it's something that grew from above. The surface world must be a horrible place. I'm really worried. They won't say anything. But I think the roots are hurting the queen. She's so big. What if she got pinched? Aw, oh, poor queen. Okay, before I progress, where where is that really cute little mantis? It was up here, I think. To the right? Yeah. Ping Pinguicula? Oh, man, I can't I can't say any of these. Pingu. Did you meet the queen? I'm so jealous. Isn't she amazing? Beautiful? I want to be as huge as her when I grow up. The queen is the oldest of all the bugs. She's so wise and great. I don't think anyone knows why she's so big and so old. But I hope she stays that way forever. The queen never, ever leaves her lair. So it's pretty rare that anyone gets to see her. You have to be pretty important. I hope I can be important enough someday. Little buddy, you're already very important. You're so cute. I want to take it home with me. Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess we're probably gonna have to come back when we can climb walls, I assume? Okay. Progress. I want to do another purification. Oops, before I call it an evening. Hello. Crinim. Hi. Sorry if I came off as rude earlier. Past here is dangerous. I'm supposed to keep folks out. But the queen says you're okay, so you're okay. Go on ahead. And have a nice day. Don't die. I haven't even seen the growth much myself. I did take a peek. But boy, it's scary. I wouldn't want to be the one going in there. I've heard about your black trees. Never seen them grow down this deep, though. Something wild must be going up there, hey? So I can't remember now if Blackberry said this. there was a precedent that this kind of corruption has happened before, but I think it's never been this bad. Oh yeah, definitely we're gonna get an ability down here. So I wanna I wanna do the next bit of corruption before we call it an evening. Yeah. And then um, it'll probably be another cat Tuesday, another Katamari Tuesday, and then more chicory next Friday. Oh boy, into the void we go. Uh oh. Oh, it's mirroring my uh, brush strokes. That's interesting. And I walk right into it. Good. Very good. <laughs> Someone said I did really well last time. And then, of course, I just 
invalidate, okay, the ones that are hollow. I invalidate all of that by walking right into one of the eyes from the get-go. Very good. Well, do I have to get them both simultaneously? Okay, no. <laughs> Please. Why am I so clumsy at this? Oh no, I have to get the opposite color. Okay, okay, okay. I see. I see what's happening now. Doing the bird's nest fate and all of a sudden a giant horde of birds start running you down, huh? I, I don't want to touch it. Oh, I see. I have to let it grow bigger. Oh. Mega pretzel. Pretzel? Huh? Give it up already. What do you think you're doing here? I... I'm not scared of you! But I am you. I know everything there is to know about you. Look at you, playing the wielder. You really think you should be the one holding that brush? Well, no. But I'm doing my best. Chicory trusted me with it. Chicory? After what she said, you think she trusts you? No, she probably hates me. Of course she does. You're completely alone. And embarrassing yourself. It's time we put an end to it. I feel like the fact that I'm wearing the tuxedo and the mushroom hat, I don't know if this makes it better or worse somehow. Hmm. Do I have to get the void ball to hit where they're standing? Oh, we have to hit each other simultaneously? Okay. Whoops. Running out of space here. Ow. Heck. Well, I feel like it means something that we're hitting each other. Uh-oh. Running out of space! Those distressing noises sure are something, huh? Yikes. Very kind of the black orb to dissipate before I get trapped and completely chumped. So that would be disappointing. Blah. Whoa. Is there a way to recover health, or is it just a I can only take X amount of hits system? Boy, this is what imposter syndrome feels like, honestly. 
Nothing I do is good enough. Feeling it. Uh oh. Go, go, go. Settle down, Mega Pretzel. Oof, we did it. What a waste of time. I'm not going anywhere. The Black Forest will swallow everything. And it'll all be your fault. You're calling it now. The brush's powers come from the wielder's emotions. As such, when it uses positive emotions to create colors, it can also draw upon negative feelings to create corruption. I'd buy it. Oof. You know, I'm gonna change out of this outfit because it's starting to feel inappropriate. Sad clown. You and your friend do the bird's nest fade, and all the giant, the giant horde of birds start running you down. Nothing funnier than running away from 10 to 20 fat dodos because you're out of potions. Oh, I know what fate you're talking about. I don't know what, what piece, what accessory encapsulates how I'm feeling right now. I mean, I'm gonna keep, I think I'm gonna keep the beret. I like the smock. No one ever targets the nest in that fate, so it never ends. Hi, Boogie! Welcome! I can now swim up vertical surfaces. You missed a town full of cute bugs, but I have to go back through it, so... Now it's even more Splatoon. Wow. Well, I should actually call it an evening, but... Now I can talk to even more bugs. Let's talk to more bugs first. Um, excuse me. Did you take care of that black tangle? Yep. Okay. Because it would appear that, in fact, nothing has actually changed or improved. Well, thanks for your help. You might want to talk to the queen before you leave. I did want to play Mario Golf, that's true. <laughs> but I don't want to ditch folks. I'm always so appreciative to have an audience. I say that a lot, but it's true. Well, let me let me save in front of the queen, but I wanna I wanna go up here and get the trash. Quercus or Kirkus? Quer I don't know how you say it. Oh, is that you there, Prunus? Mm-hmm. I'm so happy to see you paired up with a wielder. Prunus is a really big wielder fan, as you know. Why, he always used to say... Um, sorry. I don't want to translate that. She's being really embarrassing. Prunus and I are old, old friends. So I know how much this means to him. Show him all your exciting surface world. But also... Please be kind to him. I could actually speak a little of your surface language. Prunus taught me some phrases. Oh, all the swears, right? Wanna hear? Oh yeah, I do. Hello! It's uh, nice to meet you. Prunus makes it sound so easy. Oh, it was very good. Your accent was undetectable. I hope you're proud of yourself. Well, uh, the golf, I mean, is the one on the Switch, and I don't have a capture card. Fr fritillaria. Like a corn fritter. Hell. That's also what I expected them to say, is just hell. Uh, I don't feel like screaming, so you get a gasp instead. Sorry, I've never seen anything like you. Uh, oh my... Are those... your eyes? How does that even... Ugh! 
Sorry, I'm trying not to be rude. Well, you're doing a really bad job of it, thanks. Look at this thing, Boogie. Look at it. It's so cute. I don't remember what its name is. It was its name was Pingu something. Okay, I should actually call it an evening here. Because it's late. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me for more chicory. I hope again you're enjoying this game as much as I am. Because it's very charming. And again, as an artist, it really I think hits close to home. Chicory Pibu. Yeah, instead of Pibu, it's Pingu. I don't remember what its whole name was. But I don't think they're quite food names, maybe? I'm not sure. Squish. <laughs> um, I guess I will catch you all on Tuesday for probably some more Katamari. Um, as long as nothing else goes awry. So, in the meantime, please stay safe, stay healthy, take care, have a wonderful evening! I will catch you next time. Bye-bye!